A useful feature in Basehead is the thesaurus feature. Now, if your version of Basehead contains the thesaurus, you will find a T icon up in the search field. And this can be enabled by clicking on this T icon or by pressing Shift and T on the keyboard. And what this does is this uses a curated library of common sound effect search terms when we enter in a query to search for. So normally we would enter in search terms that we would like to search for in the primary and secondary search fields to narrow down our search. Uh, this allows us to search for a single search term and use similar search terms to populate our results list. So enabling the thesaurus, what we can do is enter in a search term such as boom. And if this term is found in our dictionary, it will then display the like search terms below. Now we can edit the current search by just deleting any of these search terms we don't want to search for or by adding in additional search terms. Each search term is separated by an OR symbol. We can then add an additional search term such as maybe we want to add POP to this search term. Now Basehead has its own curated sound effects terms that have been created for use with the thesaurus. This can be completely customized, so we can add our own user-based searches, and we can also disable any of the default searches that we need to if, uh, if we don't like the results. So in order to customize the thesaurus feature, we go into options, and then we click on the gear icon. Now we're greeted with a list of internal search terms, so you'll find a lot of different search terms have already been entered for us. If we decide that we don't like the results of a particular search term, we don't want those to appear as a thesaurus result when we type in a search, we can simply find that in the list. So you can either scroll down through the list or type in the search term that you wanna find and just deselect that particular term. This will take it out of the thesaurus results and will no longer come up as a, as a match in the thesaurus. If we decide that we don't want to use the internal library and we would rather create our own custom user search library, we can choose to disable the internal library completely and simply use the user library. Now the custom user library can be used for additional purposes other than just creating our own custom thesaurus searches. We could actually use it as a way to convert different language search terms as well. So we may have the English word as the root word, but then we might also search for the German word or the Japanese word. And what we can do is detail those in our user library so that that can be added to our uh, existing search terms or instead of the existing search terms. Now we can also decide to back up and import this user library as well. Uh, if we decide that we need to carry this over to another system or we just want to back up the user library, we can click the export button and this will open up the location where the user thesaurus file is saved. So by default, this is actually saved in your user documents folder under the uh, base head that you're currently using. All we need to do is back up this XML file and uh, this contains all of our user library. There's no need to back up the internal library as that is uh, installed automatically and is always available with the base head installation. But the user library can simply be copied from one computer to another to carry over those words. So importing is exactly the same. If we have an existing thesaurus user library, we just click the import button and then locate that library and it will install it automatically to the correct location. So what I'm going to do as an example is I'm going to search for the word ding for a bell and I see that I get some thesaurus results of bell, gong, ring, ding. Uh, what I would like to also search for, so if I have a look at this in, uh, in my little library here, I've got a couple of results. Uh, what I would also like to do is include the uh, term chime in this search as well. So if I search for chime in this particular string, I get a few more results. So in order to add this so that this is added into this search term next time, we'll go into the options and into the thesaurus settings. And if we go to the user library now and add a new entry, 
What I want to do is next time I search for ding, I also want to have the word chime. Now there's no need to click save or anything once we've created the uh, the entries and um, all we do is create a new entry by adding the plus symbol. So what we do is we enter in the root term that we would be searching for and then any similar terms that we want to add in. So in order to do that, we just click in the field and then we use the tab key to tab across to each of the search fields. Once completed, we just click the close button and our changes are saved automatically. So now if I go back to my results and click the search for ding again, you'll note that now we have chime added on the end. So this has now modified my search term to also now include the word chime. If I decided that I don't want the original search terms for, uh, for ding, we can search in here. We have uh, the original one here. So the original search term is bell and uh, it's finding these additional terms. Take those out. And if we reset our search here, we now just get the result of ding and chime from our user library. And that pretty much sums up the thesaurus feature.